If you're looking for a free VPN, in my opinion, Proton VPN is one of the best there are out there. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use Proton VPN. We'll show how it changes your IP address. And we'll also look at the speeds of the VPN, which is typically an issue with free VPNs. To use Proton VPN, all you need to do is download the Proton VPN app. You can download it from Fdroid or Droidify or wherever you get your apps from. And you'll need to create an account. So if you haven't created an account, you'll click create an account and it walks you through the process. In this case, I already have a login. And once you sign in, you're brought to this page. With the free version, you only have access to three countries, Japan, Netherlands, and the United States. Within each country, we can click on them. Here are the servers that a free user can connect to. And then if you go down, these plus servers here are servers for paid members only. So right now for Japan, there are about six servers available. And then for the United States, a lot of free options, but you can see that all of them are 90% or greater capacity. So meaning that the more people that's connected to the server, it's probably going to be laggy, it's going to be slow. If you're just looking to change your IP address, you're not going to be streaming. You just want to quickly change your IP address for any particular reason. Using the free version would help you achieve that. So once we're here, all we need to do now is just click on Quick Connect, which is the button on the bottom right. Say OK. And it's going to connect. You can see that in the Proton VPN app, the IP address is 195.181.163.8. And we're at 100% capacity on this server. So to confirm our IP address, let's jump to Vanadium. And let's just do a search of what's my IP. And here you can see that we're connected to that same IP address as was shown in the Proton VPN app. Let's quickly jump back to Proton VPN. Let's hit disconnect. Let's jump to the United States and click on US free number one. So we're going to hit the power button. It's going to connect. And now our IP address is now 156.146.51.131. Let's jump back to Vanadium. What's my IP? And here you can confirm that your IP address is now changed. So as far as speeds go, let's do a test without Proton VPN. So let's run our speed tests. All right, so without VPN, our ping is at 34 milliseconds and our download speed is 87 megabytes per second. So let's jump back here and let's go to Proton VPN and enable VPN. So I'm just gonna click on Quick Connect. It's gonna take me to the fastest available server. I'm connected to US free number three and it's at 100% capacity. So let's see what the speeds are here. We'll hit test again. And there is a significant difference with Proton VPN on. So you can see our ping is at 129 milliseconds and our download is at 2.74 megabytes per second. Not ideal for streaming, but it's usable for general browsing. Web pages are gonna take a little long to load. However, going back to what I said earlier, if you're just concerned about changing your IP for general browsing, this should be okay. So let's say that I wanted to go to finance.yahoo.com. So let's click on finance.yahoo.com. The site loads up but you can see that it's taking a little bit of time for everything to load. 
Let's search a ticker. We'll do our Google search. And I can look at that. Let's search for meta. And now meta loads. So you can see that the performance is not snappy. It takes a little while for pages to load, uh, for your searches to go through. So that's how you connect to ProtonVPN's free version on Graphene OS. I hope this video helped you and let me know if you have any comments below.